All right, so in this video, you're going to learn how to add rational expressions with unlike denominators. To do this properly, we will need to find a common denominator, just like we did in the opener. Um, you can always find a common denominator by simple, simple, excuse me, simply multiplying the two denominators together. Um, this approach works, but it can make for some messy simplifying in the end. So we will approach the next example how we approach the opener by finding the least common multiple and using that as our common denominator. Again, you can take a look at the way that this process is gonna work by reading through this slide. You can pause that if you'd like. I'm gonna move on to the next slide and complete an example. <clears throat> so example three asks, asks us to perform the indicated operation, which is to add seven over nine X squared plus X over three X squared plus three X. So clearly, um, the denominators are not the same. They're unlike denominators. So we're going to have to find a common denominator in order to add these two fractions together. Um, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to factor each denominator. OK, so that's the first part. And then we're going to write each factor to the highest power that it occurs. And I'll demonstrate to you what that means in just a second. All right, so let's go ahead and factor each denominator. So 9x squared. Okay, really the only thing that we can do here to factor this um, is to write 9 as 3 squared. So I'm going to write that as 3 squared times x squared. We could write it as 3 squared times x times x, but <clears throat> again, we're not going to do that. And then the second denominator is 3x squared plus 3x. So we want to factor that. Um, the way that we're going to do that is look for a GCF, um, and it appears that there is a GCF um, in those terms. We have a 3 and also an X. So if we divide 3X squared by 3X, we're going to get X. Divide 3X by 3X, and we are going to get 1. All right, so now what we're going to do to write our common denominator. We're going to. Hold on a second. I'm in nature. We're going to look at each of the factors of the denominators that we just factored, and we're going to multiply together um, each factor that's raised to the highest power. So again, let me demonstrate to you what I mean by that. So I'm going to look at the numerical coefficients first. We have a 3 squared and a 3. So 3 squared is the factor with the highest power, and 3 squared is equal to 9. So down here, my common denominator is going to contain a 9. <clears throat> now I'm going to look at the terms that just contain x alone, so those monomial terms. x squared and x, that means our common denominator has to have a factor of x squared. And then if you look... We have this remaining factor from the denominator on the right-hand side. That also has to be included as part of our common denominator. I'm going to write that here. So our common denominator in this case is going to be 9x squared times x plus 1. So what we're going to have to do, and this is going to get a little messy, is we're going to have to multiply 7 over 9x squared times whatever factor it's missing. So if you look at our common denominator, it's missing an x plus 1. It has the 9x squared, but it's missing an x plus 1. So I'm going to multiply by x plus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so when we multiply 9x squared times x plus 1, we're going to get our common denominator of 9x squared times x plus 1. Now I need to do the exact same thing with x over 3x squared plus 3x. So it's going to be plus x over 3. And I'm actually going to write 3x squared <clears throat> plus 3x as 3x 
times x plus 1, which we got by factoring earlier. So right over here. All right, so again, if we look at what we're missing, it appears that in our numerical coefficients, we have a 3 here, but this is a 9, so we're missing a factor of 3. So we have to multiply by 3 over 3. And it also looks like we're missing an x because we just have an x here. So x times x would give us x squared. So we're going to have to multiply by 3x over 3x. All right, and this is again where it starts to become a little messy. And I didn't plan this out very well, but we'll make it work. I'm actually going to erase. Actually, no, I'm not going to keep it the same. All right, so down here, 7 times x plus 1 is 7 times x plus 1 over 9x squared times x plus 1. Then we're going to add x times 3x is 3x squared all over 3x times 3x is 9x squared times x plus 1. And if you look, we're in a good spot here because now the denominators are exactly the same. So now this becomes just like the previous example. So we're just going to write our fraction over our common denominator. And then we're just going to add those numerators together. So we have 7 times x plus 1 plus 3x squared. And again, we're going to try to simplify that. So 7 times x is 7x, and then 7 times 1 is 7. So on the top, we should get 3x squared plus 7x plus 7 all over 9x squared times x plus 1. So this is a process that's going to take some practice. It's going to take some work. It is a little bit complicated. Um, I'm going to go through another example in just a minute um, to show you, I don't know, just to give you a little bit more help on this. Um, so we're going to do that in just a second. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.